Hi Magnificent Souls, this is going to be your What You Need to Know video series. This is for the sign of Aries. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Frost Watchers, you're always welcome here. Um, this is a quick energy update. We're going to look at your person's um, energy, where, where they stand, okay? What they may do in the month of May as it relates to this relationship. So this could be reconciliation if that's on the you know table. It could be breaking their silence, you know, maybe leaving a third party, or maybe where they're at in a relationship with you, or if you're currently in a relationship. Do they want to build on a relationship? Do they want to walk away? So we're going to look at that, those topics in this particular message. This is a very quick reading. Um, I'm going to pretty much ask what this person feels, what they think, and what action they're going to take. And I'm also going to look at blocks and obstacles and give you a best possible outcome, okay? So let's get started. Thank you for your support. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, thank you for all your donations. If you're interested in a personal reading, please check the description box at the bottom of the screen, okay? Or under the video, rather. All right. All right. All right. So main energy is judgment. In Six of Pentacles, someone's making a decision about equal give and take and wish fulfillment. Whoa, gosh. Aries, Seven of Pentacles, someone wants to invest here. It looks like your person's thinking about investments. They're thinking about money. Absolutely, Seven of Coins. They're thinking about investing time and energy. They're taking their time, though. They're taking their sweet time. But they are working on making a decision with the Judgment card. Um, and this is about equal give and take. With six of pentacles here and and this is also about fulfillment and what they what they see as happiness for them um this is an energy of self-focus self-love um but this is a happy energy this is um being happy being emotionally fulfilled so this is very gorgeous for you guys okay so let's get three clarifiers and then we're gonna ask your person specific questions and then we'll get advice too i think i want to throw in advice for you guys Yeah, so there's a need for them to release something with this judgment energy. So they may need to release another relationship, harsh judgments of themselves. They may need to surrender control or they're needing to purge the past. They're thinking, they're doing a lot of thinking. So they need to make a decision, okay, with this judgment card. This is a second chance. I feel like the, the universe is granting this person, you and this person, a second chance here. Let's look at Six of Pentacles. Ooh, unexpected tower. Beautiful. So there's an unexpected offer. Sixes are about harmony, um, about balance, reciprocity. And with it being a, a pentacle, we have a six and a seven of pentacles here. Where I see a progression. Let's see what's underneath the seven. Nine of wands. Someone needs to let down their guard or let something go for sure. Eight of swords. Yeah, stop overthinking. Yeah, stop overthinking. So this is about being open to giving and receiving so unexpectedly some sort of offer or some sort of communication about equal give and take is going to come up and you're going to feel a little bit um worried or this might catch you off guard but this person could be having some sort of epiphany it could be about a one-sided relationship somebody could be making a decision that's based on their happiness right like what is going to make me happy what is for my best interest here someone wants to be stable someone wants equal give and take someone wants Harmony. I don't want to fight. I want, how can we make this better? So definitely an offer of commitment. Someone wants to build a solid foundation. It's really clear here. Not a cup. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment or this is your wish fulfillment as your best possible outcome. Now, if this doesn't all go down in May, this is, yeah, this is just what this person's thinking. They're going to come in and, uh, and apologize. A lot of you guys were hoping for this or they are having some doubts. But this is self-deception, and I think that this is what they need to release, these fears, or this is what you need to release. You may be doubting that this can happen, but the universe is saying there's a second chance, wish fulfillment. One more. Okay, they gave me two. Yeah, healing and growth. Yes, baby, come on. By the summertime, there will be healing and apology. So right now, your person is making a judgment call. They're going to have some sort of shake-up, epiphany, or tower moment. When it comes to an equal give and take or a lack of equal give and take, one more. 
they keep giving me two more. Yeah, so they're seeing something is someone or something is deceptive. They could be withholding their their plans for the future. They're watching you, so they could be holding back or they're seeing another situation for what it really is. They could be invested somewhere else, and they're like, "Damn, mm, is this what I want? Is this making me happy?" They're they're gonna get their epiphany soon. They're gonna get their answer soon. But I definitely see with the deception card. Um, that they're holding back. I don't think that this is like them trying to manipulate you. I think that they're just not telling you what they got going on. Like what their plans are for you. How do you feel? Give me three cards. They want to share their good news. Yes, yeah, so this is why I'm saying that this could be completely unexpected. And they're leaving behind someone immature. I saw you and I were too young. How do you feel? For the second message. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, I feel like they're holding back their plans. I feel like if they were manipulative or if they were holding back, they're having some sort of epiphany about that. And they're wondering if you're happy without them. Final message for how do you feel? I left when I saw you with someone. I love you. They're leaving someone else, okay? Some of you guys, they can they, they see you being happy. They see you in the Nine of Cups. They see you flourishing. And they're regretting. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, see? You're healing. You're growing. You're flourishing. And now they're, they're, they're feeling apologetic. They love you. I feel like they're leaving somebody else. I think that this, that's the decision. Tell me why you're apologizing. I look for you everywhere. Yeah, they're comparing you to somebody else. Yeah. They need to heal. They're thinking about you. They're thinking of very heavy. Like, this is like heavy contemplation, trying to figure out what they want. What they want is to be back together again. Beautiful energy. That's what you need to know. This person is thinking about coming back together again. So let's get you your advice now. This person's really thinking about you, so they're wanting to heal the situation with you, but they know they need to heal first. They need to get back into this Nine of Cups energy. I feel like they are having a major tower with somebody else with this I know exactly what I was doing energy. I think this person was being deceptive, holding back. They were staying in a relationship maybe because of financial reasons here with the Six and Seven of Pentacles. Um, or maybe they were stalling because they were trying to get their money together. Tower big big tower coming through um since we see a tower energy here we're gonna i'm gonna have to ask the universe what is this intervention about on your behalf is it on your behalf or this person's behalf let's ask i'm using sacred soulmates to ask all these cards are listed down below if you don't see a card in the description box it's because i got it at, um, from etsy everything else i got from amazon okay either um i purchased them or they were gifted to me but they're listed down below if you're interested yeah the universe is saying yeah this is a spiritual test spiritual mission um so they are coming in yeah and they're helping this person to break free of a parasitic symbiotic relationship so that they can have this um mutual twin flame connection or this connection at where you guys feel like an energetic match yeah are they needing to break free of a strong energy of a twin flame or a soul tie Tele telepathy there's a strong empathetic soul bond i feel like this is you and you and your person and i feel like this is your person with somebody else where they're having a one-sided relationship so this is why the universe is saying that we're testing this person or we're putting them through a spiritual mission so that they can they know how to be compatible how to mirror in a healthy way and not be so one-sided okay it says equal give and take needs to be balanced and this is what the six of pentacles is talking about see that that's exactly what the six of pentacles is talking about here beautiful all right so let's get your advice we're using the energy oracle deck for advice this is advice for my aries beautiful people my arians you need to detach okay so you need to detach from from what doesn't serve you thoughts um hostilities the past maybe forgiveness learning to forgive some of you guys you're leaving this relationship this is you 
leaving a one-sided relationship, leaving behind a situation that doesn't serve you, you're making a decision. You're, you're thinking, you're the thinking woman. And your decision is that you want to be happy. You could be one-sided in the sense where you're standing your ground and you're hostile and bitter. The universe may want you to forgive this person. Um, but right now, there's a little bit of a delay because you're still healing. Your person needs to heal first. Um, someone needs to come out of lack consciousness. So if you feel like something's not going to happen, this is confirmation that there is a potential for an, uh, a new beginning here, a second chance. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonated, please leave me a comment below. Please like the video and um, let me know how it resonated. F subscribe to this video um, if it does and um, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I might extend this one yes let's go ahead and extend in the extended we're going to do a cross spread and we're going to get the nitty gritty on what this person is really going to do okay but by summer because i did get the summer card in the future position by summer there will be um some sort of um healing of this whole situation okay whether it be you walking away for good or whether it be that this person is ending another relationship to be with you to come in and offer this equal give and take to you, okay? Or they're ending a third party. Whatever this is, there is going to be some sort of um, wish fulfillment, okay? It's, the outcome is wish fulfillment. Whether this person comes back or not, you're getting wish fulfillment. And it may require you to forgive in order to have it, all right? So see you in the extended. Um, all the links are down below. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.